Okay, so got a couple minutes. I'm gonna try and do another, do the demo. Okay, so here's your aluminum airplane. Actually, I just found this in the garbage. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, it sure looks like a, an aluminum airplane, kind of a cool looking crazy airplane. But anyways, so when, when the aluminum airplane's out on the line and, and people accidentally end up bumping into it like this, Okay, and so somebody's bumped into my airplane. What happens is, oops, sorry. <clears throat> There's a little bit of give in aluminum, but not a lot. <clears throat> and so what was my nice straight airplane is is bent and it's it's pretty easy to see that there's been there's definitely been some damage here, right? And so inspection-wise, a little bit more visual, right? <clears throat> okay, so now, now you gotta be a little bit more creative. Here's my, my composite airplane, right? My carbon fiber with fiberglass airplane. And so, you know, we're gonna stick it out in the, the environment. I'm even gonna be nice. I'm gonna use a slightly rounded chunk of, of, of wood here to act as my bumper on my truck. And so, here we go, we're gonna... And the big thing is, listen, listen to the noise as it comes in. So would everybody agree at this point, looking at it, there has definitely been some damage here, right? Definitely. I mean, you can hear it snapping and cracking and banging and, and making all kinds of noise, right? And so let's back our truck away. Oh, actually that did, that dished ever so slightly. But you can tell a little bit, but we had, uh, we've had a couple of these times. Actually, it's interesting. I'm kind of surprised we ended up with that much of a dent in it. Um, I've had some times where we've done this and uh, we've been able to crush this thing dramatically and you literally couldn't tell that there had been damage to the thing. It was amazing. It just bounced right back. And so let's let's get mean and nasty here. Squishy, squishy. I think that's probably that's probably pretty good. So let's pop this thing out. But again, notice how really look at look at how that that level right there comes pretty much back to almost full level. Let's take our bumper out of the way. And we've crushed and destroyed that thing. And there's still, there's not a whole lot of, you know, visual. And so the big thing with carbon fiber is, because of its black opaqueness, um, it's super hard to tell that there's been D-lamp. But when you start looking at the, at the uh, fiberglass on the backside, you can immediately see spots where it's delaminated because the material has changed color. In fact, it's all in all, it's actually not bad. The back layers obviously didn't get as much abuse as the front layers, because there would be tons of separation in the center on the other side. You can see we've done a repair right here, and it's got all the different layers, all the different patches, a step repair um, to have carried out a repair there. So I hope, more than anything, I've driven home the fact that as far as inspection goes, Man, you got to be way more on your game when it comes to uh, composite. So keep that in mind if you ever are working on or inspecting a composite airframe. Back to me.